Hey guys, we're here live um, at uh, SEMA 2022. This is day four. Oh, no, thank you. And uh, we are at the Benko booth with Valerie Lennon and uh, Cause, her daughter, will be stepping in just a minute to give us a, a report from the field. She is standing by. So, uh, but uh, Valerie, I just want to kind of wrap up the week uh, since this is the day. We are a bit tired. Tired. It has <laughs> been a phenomenal week. There have been so many people here. So many people that have been looking for new products, new processes to improve their business. And it's been a phenomenal show for us. And I think for most everybody here. Yeah, I think so. And you even sold the uh, tank that's next to us uh, already. So you'll have a lighter load going home. We will. Hopefully. Deliver on the way home. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the week kind of started off really warm and exciting that it was warm and then kind of just got colder and colder and colder and today's weather forecast is sunny but it's only going to get to like 58 I believe is what Warren said it was surprisingly cool last year it was so hot here yeah and uh, there was so much excitement outside all the time because of the heat and everybody congregated out there right but you've had some great time here you've interviewed a lot of people I have and we're waiting on um, oh yes, Mr., uh, yeah, Dayton Jacobson, who Benko sponsored this year, um, Same at my, and last year. On yeah. and this year, he had a 1954 Oldsmobile 88 convertible, and he made the top 40. Uh, but last year, he was the, he won the Young Gun Award. Yeah, that's yeah, I mean that was fantastic, that's amazing. But what's even more amazing is that um, Lindsay, who knows him. Uh, Lindsay's a, uh, one of the she's uh, one of our work, customer service yeah, people customer yes. service and she's here at Benko at the Benko booth she knows him and uh, so I followed him this morning on Instagram and it is the key he's got like he started this project when he was 12 years old but that is just amazing the whole you know and he's a young guy so he is. he's yeah. a really nice person that's quite a project yes. to start at the age of 12 um, what else is going on um, let's see we're, I don't know. Well, there's I guess, a lot of events outside. And yeah, cause come on in come and in here. here, I'll give you my mic and um, give us a report from the field. You did get to go out this morning and have some exciting things to go check out. So here you go. Yeah, it's been so much fun outside. There's so much activity, even though it is cold, the sun has finally made an appearance and it's been so much fun. Um, the Hoonigan track is wild. The people were lining up over an hour before just to get a good viewing spot. And that's been a lot of fun. Um, there is a podcast with Motor Trend with um, Dave Kindig and Kev Dog, and they're talking about their first cars and what they're really loving at SEMA this year. And it's been a lot of fun to be a part of everything. But the crowds are insane. Yeah, and you said um, you said something about eBay Motors, uh, their little field there. They've got lots of things going. Is that where the Kindigan is? Where yeah. Right, right outside, uh, right outside. And um, eBay Motors has a massive presence here. Um, and that's been fun to see. I've seen a lot of uh, different booths really branching out and um, different celebrities that are getting into cars have really made seem, I think, even more popular this year. Um, like Travis Barker loves Hogan built cars and um, Hogan has a blazer here this year that is incredible. Um, so people are really starting to pay attention, whether you're really into cars and know the ins and outs or just um, kind of appreciate the beauty of it. So it's been interesting to see the crowd change a little bit. You mentioned something this morning about um, the, the car that, is that the car that's going for auction? And then the, the... Oh, no. Tell me about that. That is a Bronco that's being raffled off. I believe it's a 79, but it is beautiful, red, white, and blue. And it is, um, all the proceeds from the raffle are going to the special ops veterans. And um, it's really an incredible cause. And the car is amazing. It is. And it is valued at almost $340,000. So that was not a cheap bill. Not, not even a little bit. Not at all. <laughs> but none of this is cheap. But yeah. learned anything about cars. None of this <laughs> is cheap. But yeah. Um, is that the one that's in your story right now? 
the Bronco one? The Bronco is not in my story right now, actually. Um, our Benko sales story. Um, what's in my story right now is there is a beautiful blazer again in the um, Battle of the Builders competition. I don't know a whole lot about it. I don't know who built it, but it definitely caught my eye. And I love seeing all these blazers this year. I mean, I think they're kind of competing for that space with the Bronco and the old Land Cruisers and that kind of thing. There's definitely a trend there. And I'm excited to see what blazers show up next year for sure. Yeah, it's definitely been about the lifted trucks. I've mentioned that a few times, but it's always nice to see the old school uh, Broncos and Blazers and V-Dub Bugs and those kinds of, uh, you know, peeking in and out of these big trucks, you know? Yeah, well, I love the cat everything that here. Everything that is here is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's just spectacular. And it's kind of, you know, we're in the wheels and tires section, and I was thinking this morning, you know, you know, you look at how many different wheels and tires. Some of them are foreign, some of them are domestic. And everywhere I look, I just see, oh, powder coaters will be re-powder coating those. <laughs> so there's, you know, for for what you're seeing in terms of demand here in this building of people coming and seeing just wheels and tires, mostly wheels uh, around us, um, is just kind of a, a reassurance that powder coating wheels because eventually these guys will curb their rims or want them restored or whatever and there's going to be plenty of work in the future for powder coaters definitely in including the using the oh, benco yes, to say and when you need to strip those <laughs> you just need to call us at benco and put you in contact with exactly what you need exactly right i yes. mean it's a great you are in the perfect place here around all these rims because these guys are putting it all together like oh yeah you make an oops We've yeah. got the thing that will strip it fast. Exactly. We need to do volume. We have that too. Yeah. And actually, sales were kind of brisk. Yeah, a lot of people stopping by still this morning. Of course, I think at noon, um, we're recording this just before noon, uh, it, it opens up to the public. Um, I don't know what that means, but why don't you explain? There's From what people, I understand, anybody, last right? year, and, and the general public can come in, anybody that's interested in cars, but I believe they have to bypass. Okay. And I think a lot of them have been outside watching the races. Right, right. And watching all the exhibits and the events outside. And they'll probably continue to do that or just visit all the beautiful cars and one of the, the West Booth. And they're probably not looking for wheels. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, but uh, I know that mostly everybody that's been in here for the last three days has had a tag on uh sema tag and um, they've either been media or other presenters or exhibitors, exhibitors buyers. And buyers too i think the buyers members. buyers have the red tags yes um so that you know everybody knows who's who and and stuff like that but uh yeah uh later today i hope to interview uh, uh dayton, dayton jacobson and um, I'm looking forward to that, and we'll see what happens. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. I think Kaz is probably the one you should interview. Jesus, she knows yeah. how to talk.